Hello everybody, Flick here, and it's time for some more Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the Wii U. I am by myself as my apprentice has spread her wings and flown the coop. Uh, but I've been enjoying the game, and the video's been doing quite well, so I thought, why not, I'll just play a bit more myself. I do like the game, there's actually only two things about it I don't like. Um, get those out of the way very briefly. Monster quests, where you have to capture the monster rather than kill it. And the farming for items. But, you know, I've played many an MMO in my time, so I, I am more than willing to farm when necessary. So, my gear has changed since the last video. Um, I'm mostly wearing the Barath set, as far as armour goes. And, oh I can't check that here. And, item wise, I have switched from dual blades to longsword. Because I wanted something that deals a bit more damage. Um, but the greatsword, I think, is far too slow. And also, I hate the attack animations for it. It's like you're struggling to do the tiniest little thing. Whereas, at least with the longsword, it's more like a katana fighting style, which is more up my street. So yeah, I'm using the the Rogri sword. I like it because it adds poison damage and it's about twice as strong as the dual blades I was using. And as I said, I'm mostly wearing the Barath set, which increases defense and uh, a lightning resistance, which made it very easy to fight the Lucarius or whatever it's called when the... I got the urgent quest to scare it away from the village recently. So the goal for this video I have in mind, if I run over here, very briefly talk to the blacksmith, I am missing one part of the Barath set and it is the legs. And the reason I'm missing the Barath legs is because if you look at the ingredients it needs there, it needs a tail. And I have killed many a Barath to get all the rest of the set and I have never once gotten its tail. Because you need to, very like Dark Souls and Demon Souls I guess, you very specifically need to cut the tail to get it to come off. But because the Barath is covered with mud, you also have to make sure all the mud is knocked off too. So I've never been able to do that. Although I've never really been trying because I didn't realise that was a thing. But that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to very briefly pick a meal that's good for attack. Um, in case you aren't aware, you can kind of see the effects you're going to get, as assuming you've ate them before, and you can change how they're cooked, although I mostly just do saute. So if I do that, what will I get? I'll get an increased invulnerability period when I'm getting up after being hit. That's very handy for Bath Barath, because it often charges you. And I can also decrease stamina depletion when fleeing from large monsters. That is a very nice mix, plus attack up small and health plus 20. I'm going with that. I'm going to need to remember what that was. Heaven bread and thorny meat. I'm not going to ask where thorny meat comes from. And then we'll just get on with it. So I don't plan to show me constantly killing the same thing over and over as I farm for suits of armour, because I imagine that will not be entertaining. However, I am open to suggestions about what people would like to see. Uh, where is that Barth hunting mission? Uh, no, it's not that one. Leading the charge, right? Yep, that's the one. I'm also after large monster bones, and do not take that out of context. Because I need those to upgrade some armour and get some decorations I want to put in the armour. Oh, also, if I sound a bit different, it's because I've got a cold, so I'm a bit choked up. I don't want to keep on going on about it, because I've been doing that in every single video I've been making recently. But it may be required for me to say that, because the video might be a bit shorter than I would have liked, or I'll sound weird, and people will wonder why. So I thought, you know, just explain out the way, get out the way, rather. We will take all these items. Did I take the cold? Drink. I think I did. Don't, doesn't matter. As I say, I have done this mission killing this Barath many times, so I know exactly where it's going to be. Uh, I don't even need a cool drink because it never runs into the hot parts of the desert. It is down here and then to the right, I believe. So the Barath is like a mini T-Rex, for those who aren't familiar with the game. It likes to charge at you. It likes to roll around in the mud and give itself armour. Um, what else does it do? Oh, it shakes the mud off itself, and if it hits you, you get immobilised for a little while, unless Cha Cha over there kicks me and saves me. So we should just run into it swimming around in the mud. Let me see. Do I see it floating around in the mud? Oh, yeah, I do. On the right there. Uh, if I try and hit it while it's like that, it'll bounce out and hit me, but it may not get aggroed unless I do that. Come on, do you see me? Come on, I'm right here. I'll shadow box you. Oh. Okay, I'll do kick back backs. Get up, get up, get up! <laughs> and throw the paint. There we go, that still hit. Also, I forgot to increase my stamina before getting started, but that is totally fine. I've never. Why do I have a fee Felfine bomb on me? I don't remember taking that. Oh well. Either way, I am gonna try and focus on his damn tail, although I do also want to just get poison on him. I'm not sure. I know that you have to use bladed weapons to cut body parts off of creatures. That much I do know for sure. Oh, he's throwing mud around. 
However, I'm not sure if you have to do like, do I only do cuts like that because they're downward cuts and that makes sense as far as cutting stuff off goes? I don't know. Either way, I think I'm going to need to wound him enough that he runs away from this area because otherwise he's constantly going to get mud back on him. Uh, oh, um, comments in the previous part. Thank you for pointing out that the reason Cha Cha gets picked on is because I have him set to increase aggro. I haven't changed that because I actually find it very handy that he distracts the creatures. He dies a lot, but he also comes back pretty quick because I've raised his valor or stamina or whatever stat it is that affects that, so I find it handy now. Once I get the second whatever they're called, I may change it. Oh, that's going to hit me. Yep. <laughs> See, that's the other thing. If I was doing this solo without Cha-Cha, or without Cha-Cha set to be aggro, how the hell would I hit his tail? Because he always comes after me. So that's another thing. Oh, poor Cha-Cha. Oh, that's not his tail, that's his face. I know you can crack the armor on his face as well, but I think to do that kind of stuff where it's like rock hard, you need to use a hammer or other blunt weapon rather than a bladed weapon. And I don't like axes. That's my my thing. I just do not like axes in any game. I'm surprised he hasn't ran yet, because they're not exactly overly tough. Hit his tail. Which still has way too... I wonder if I can even knock off the mud without a blunt weapon. But you can't change weapons mid-mission, so... I'm not sure. Either way, killing the Barth, even if I don't get his tail, it's still worthwhile because I need the I need large bones and he is the earliest thing that drops them, as I understand it. And I've already farmed quite a few of those off him as well. And that's gonna hurt me, yep. Hopefully I won't be dazed. No. Cha Cha's getting angry, but he's also getting aggro. And he's down again. He'll be back in a second. Hit the tail! Yep, that hit the tail, but if that's the only attack that I've got that can hit it, this is going to take a while. Is he going to run off? No, he's just going to stand there. Oh, I got the mud off of his knee there, but that is not what I'm after. Come on, do an attack. And then attack the tail. Oh, yes, this is the perfect time. Get the mud off his tail. Yes! Yes! Okay, the mud is off his tail, so now... He, ah, he's doing a runner. Fine. I hope that won't reapply the mud, because he's digging into the ground. Damn it. Missed. <laughs> okay, we'll very quickly use a ration just to buff up my stamina. No, I won't, because I was already at max. Whatever. He should run south. He usually runs south. Yes. Also, I didn't realise he... If you knock the mud off him, there's a chance you'll pick up fertile mud. That's what it usually is. Oh, or a Barth Ridge. I must have chipped a bit off him. Whatever. So the reason he runs up here is because he destroys the... Are they called Jaggy in this area? Whatever. He destroys their the bug's nest, actually. the And then, oh, yeah, he does exactly what he's doing right now. He eats them and gets health back. And because I took so long to chase him, he's basically back at full health by this point, probably. But that is totally okay, because I want to chop his tail off before I kill him. Yeah, you're a bit pissed off. And he's shaking mud. Oh, and it got hit. Cha-Cha, come here. Hit me. No, I don't want to get hit by him. It does just wear off after a little while, but it's far quicker if you let Cha-Cha hit you. He missed! You suck. <laughs> and he's still angry at me. Oh. Stop spinning so I can cut your tail. Yeah, I think when he gets that smoke above him, he's enraged. But I may be wrong about that. Feel free to correct anything I'm saying in the comments, by the way, because I am still learning the game. Or at least the intricacies of every big creature and their habits and styles. I forgot to mention that the thing about the longsword is you can do combination attacks with when that bar below my weapon condition is filled at least one bit. Come on, chop the tail. Oh, I poisoned his tail. That's a that's a thing. Don't oh, did I get it there? No, that was just my weapon power decreasing. Come on, I'm concentrating. I want that tail off. Oh. Come on, go after Cha-Cha. He's the one you want. Oh no, he's not. He's dead. And my special attack missed. I only used up one, though. 
that's not even touching his tail, is it? No, that didn't touch his tail at all. But that's okay. That should stop him for a second. Hit the tail. Nope. It swung up just enough that I didn't touch it. Oh, good cha -cha's back. That's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Go after him. He's the one you want. Oh, I wonder if he's almost dead. He usually keeps on spinning on the spot when he's almost dead because he doesn't have much else he can do. And I'm not reaching his tail because he's ever so slightly off the stage, so I'm going to need to wait until he moves now. That will do it. I don't even know if there's a guaranteed tail cutting if you do enough damage to that area or if it's just random chance. Oh, poisoned him again. Once again, I can't reach his tail. Uh oh. That might knock me into the next zone. Yes, it did. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, I'll very quickly use a health since I need it. He'll probably just go back to trying to heal if I do ignore him. Oh, no, he's still here. Right, I need you to kind of move into the open because I'm sick of your tail being off the stage. Get over here. Come get me. Come on. Hit me. I want you to hit me. Now, don't just sit there and moan at me. Are you stuck? No, you can't. You can't be stuck. Come here. There we go. Hey, this is better. In the open, I should be easier. Yes, yes. I cut it off. Come on, let me pick it up. 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 Yes. Yeah, you can hit me all you want. I got your damn tail. Can I do it more than once? No, just the once. That is totally fine. Now I can just concentrate on killing the git. And it shouldn't take too long. He usually runs two more times, though. Oops, I didn't mean to turn the camera, my bad. Oh, is that him running again already? I'll sort the camera in a second. I'm concentrating on trying to poison him. <laughs> What's with all the jaggies? Get lost. Oh! Oh, I keep <laughs> his tail swing doesn't really do anything to me. Because he doesn't have a tail. It's funny because I've mutilated him. There we go, I've turned the camera. Hey, Stumpy! Oh, he is pissed off now. Come on, poison him. There we go. I find the poison really handy because sometimes, especially when you're playing solo, even with Cha Cha, you spend a lot of your time maneuvering. Oh, damn it. Hit me! Thank you. So it pays to have a uh, damage over time applied. Oh, yeah, you're going to run, are you? I uh, usually run that way, but you can tell by where the thumps in the ground appear. He did indeed. I didn't actually see the thumps that time, but still. Uh, oh, I was looking at the wrong... I was looking at Chacha's mark on the map, not my own. My bad! That would explain why I didn't see the, the ground shaking in the direction he burrows in? I guess he's burrowing. That's not good. That gave him time to regen. I don't think he eats those guys up here, though, but they do get in the way when you're trying to fight them, which is annoying. That's why I'm just kind of trying to kill them. So, oh, I should have uh, repaired my weapon. I'll do that when he runs again. Oh, he's salivating, so he is actually still really weak. That is fine. When they're in a weakened state, they attack slower, they attack less, they, they're generally haggard just less aggressive overall, although when he's almost dead I think he kind of enrages a little bit. Could be wrong about that, but he did seem to attack more frequently every time I've almost killed him. Oh, yep, he stomped on me a little bit. Uh oh. Dodge. Dodge. <laughs> That's the other thing with his tail not being there. None of my attacks are quite reaching from where I was previously hitting him. Damn. Oh, cha cha has gone as well, so I'm just going to have to roll around until this wears off. Which is a pain. Especially since my stamina is regening so slowly. There we go. And also, if you don't get freed by cha cha, you do that stupid, I've used an item, so I'm going to flex my muscles thing, and that might get you hit. Oh yeah, he is falling over really frequently now, so he is almost done. He'll probably run back to the mud pit now, if I had to guess. 
Assuming I don't just kill him here, I might. I forgot about my special attack again. <laughs> oh, I knocked off a bit of mud again. So I'm going to pause and pick that up. Oh no, that was a wyvern tier. You just get more money when you hand in these quests for getting some of those. Yeah, you can scream and moan all you want, but you're still going to die. My theory there was jump back as he's doing it and then jump forwards because if any of the mud was aimed for me, it probably wouldn't hit me. Knock down again, but my weapon is almost... Yeah, I'm probably not even going to be able to touch him at this point. I'll quickly wheat stone. Uh-oh. 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 Nope, I didn't finish wheat stoning. Where's Cha-Cha? He is here. He's just doing something over there. It looks like he's running now. He'll go over there and dig into the ground, I would think. Nope, he was getting ready for a charge. Charge through rock, I dare you. Yeah, I see you over there. Oh, thank you for the defense boost. Nope, you're not going to charge me. Oh, you are going to try and charge me. You can't get through it, right? No, I didn't think so. Either way. That's him running back to his camp. And my paintball should still be applying. Let's see, there's the ground shaking. Yep, he's running this way. He might pause in the next area, actually. In fact, I think my paintball has worn off, so it's a good job I know which way he runs. Yeah, he has decided to pick on the cats here. I might just kill him here, I think. I think I've dealt enough damage. I didn't actually mean to hit the cat, but it's not the black one, so I don't think they steal from you. Oh, that was the other thing. Yeah, enough people replied. The reason you don't get anything when you examine the, the cat statue house thingies is because that's where stuff the black cats steal from you go. So, that's good to know. Although any time one of those little gets is stolen anything from me, they become my priority. I could be fighting a dragon at the time, and if one of those black cats steals something from me, I will still concentrate on it. It will die, and I will get my item back. Oh, damn it. Cha-cha! Thank you. Knock him over. Come on. Knock him over. Yes. No. That was just me decreasing my weapon value again. Value? Quality. Whatever. Uh oh. oh I don't want to have to use one of my proper items. I usually just need to use the first aid pots that you get for every mission at best. Ah, oh, damn it. And now I can't even use that. Oh wait, I can use cleanser, can't I? Yep. Yeah, that's right, spin your stumpy tail at me for all you want. That feline is carrying a bomb. Get away from me! Blow up the barrett, not me! You moron! <laughs> I didn't want to do that, you made me! Oh, and that's him running away to the final area to kill him. So that's fine, I'll just heal up. Steal whatever the cat dropped. Probably a secret stash. Oh no, another first. Oh, I should have just picked that up and used that. Never mind. Anyway, we will wrap things up here because when we go back here, the Barath will make his last stand. So I think I can finish my Barath armor, but then my next priority is farming up a few more large monster bones so I can make the decoration that improves. Oh, did I pick the wrong way? What the? Every time I've done this, he always ran back here. Lesson learned, I should paintball again. Damn it. So where else could he have ran? Back to the first area? Uh, oh no, he'll be back in the area where he can eat, possibly. This is going on a lot longer than I thought it would as a result of me forgetting that I should have paintballed again. Unless there was a glitch, if I go back in here. Is he swimming in the mud? He is not swimming in the mud. That's for sure, because you see his little humps if you do. I guess he's through here. Come on. And has he been chewing on things? He has been chewing. Oh, he came back to get his tail. <laughs> I should have thought. Too bad. Although I did take so long that he's most likely healed a little bit by destroying one of the Ryloth, what are they called? The, the R word nests. He is fighting a bit more aggressively again, and he's no longer salivating, so that does lead me to believe he has healed. 
still. Oh, well, I did knock him over with only three hits. Let's see how much damage I can do before he stands back up. Go, Cha Cha, go. Oh, very nearly. And I guess that confirms if he hits Cha Cha with the mud, he is immune to stats effects. Knocked over again. Nah, he is still weak. He's getting knocked over way too frequently. He may just die. Come on. Ah, oh. ah, he's limping. He's definitely wounded. Come on, die before you go back to your mud pool. Damn it. He will definitely run to the mud pool now. Yep, no question. Hey, Stumpy. He'll be reapplying his mud, probably. Nope, you saw me too quick. Yeah, get all angry. It'll probably be one or two hits and he'll die at this point. I've been saying that for a while now, but honestly. Oh, Cha Cha, get out! Whoops, I poisoned Cha Cha. I'm assuming he can be poisoned. Made a valiant struggle, but it's time to die. He's pissed off again. Now, why couldn't that attack have killed him? That was like samurai style. He charged at me, I charged at him. We both slightly went past one another. There we go. That did take longer than some of my previous kills, but I was spending a lot of the early fight purely doing single attacks against his tail, so that's not too surprising. Oh, I stole his scalp. And uh, next, please. One of his claws, fine. Might come in handy if I do any weapons that require it. Don't poison me while I'm trying to hit this body. And a shell. That's fine, I've got plenty of those. I didn't get any monster bone largies, however, but I may do just for handing in the quest. That's actually how I've had more of them. I've had basically none from just harvesting his corpse, but for handing in the quest, I've always gotten one at least. Oh, I forgot to do my... I usually flaunt at the end of the quest. It's like, hey, I took your tail! That didn't seem like the biggest one of those I fought either, so I imagine my record will not be beaten, but we'll see. So while this is trying to load the end of stage, I will just say that if you don't mind me just being by myself as I play Monster Hunter, please do tell me in the comments, and I know that commenting right now is a pain in the ass because of all the Google Plus stuff. But it makes me appreciate it more if you do go to the effort of commenting, and I, I do appreciate it, honestly. So we've got a ridge, a claw, a monster bone large, fantastic, shell, mud, shell, claw, claw, is that another, mon no, that's a medium sized one, and ugh, two mediums and a large, not what I was after, but still. I got the tail, uh, earned a good bit of money, and yeah, as I thought, it was not a record breaking birth. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, Please do comment, or at the very least, something easy, just like the video, and I will know that that means that you would like to see me play some more. And I guess my, my goal will just be to go through the the story missions. I'm possibly not like doing the farming ones on camera, I'm not sure, I might do. I'll, I'll wait and see what I, I feel like, or at least what the feedback is. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to finish this Barath armor. Armor, forge, legs, uh, why can't I finish it? I need another monster bone large. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, what I'm going to do off camera now is go kill another Barath, so... <laughs> if you want to pretend that you're there with me, just play this video from the start again. Anyway, as we near the 25 minute mark, or just over the 24 minute mark, I will once again thank you for watching the video, even though I'm by myself this time. Encourage you to support the series if you'd want to see more, and I shall end as I began by prancing my way to victory. My name is Flick. Ta-ta for now.